Journey to the West. In a long time forgotten, when magic was still rampant in the world, there was a mountain called Fruit Flower. At its peak, there was a rock that had been there for ages, minding its own business. But one day, it was struck by a mysterious force that shattered it to pieces, and out popped a monkey. Yes, you heard that right, a monkey. The light reached to the Cloud Palace, where the Jade Emperor sat. Confused. Where is this bright light coming from in this dark night? Noble, go find out. Yes, Your Majesty. The noble looked down and noticed it was coming from the monkey on the rock. Huh? The noble went back to the Jade Emperor. So, what is it? It was... A monkey. A monkey? Yes. He was born from a rock. What a strange sight on Earth. Woohoo! Huh? Um, yum, 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 yum. Come on, everyone. I see something behind the waterfall. Oh, what do you see that we cannot? Trust me and follow me. Monkey swung into the waterfall and reached the cave behind. One by one, other monkeys followed, and to their surprise, there was a huge place with beds, tables to eat, and a large quantity of food that could last them for years. The monkeys were shocked and ecstatic. Yeah. Oh, yep, I found this place. Now bow down. I am the king. Yes, you are our king. You brought us happiness! Please rule us! Monkey got a beautiful throne, crown, and a robe. He was happy, and so were his fellow followers. Years went by, until one day, Monkey felt quite off. Hey, you, Minion! Yes, your majesty? Cut that majesty! Ugh! You see, being a king was all cool and fun, but there's nothing more to do here. Like what? Like ruling the world, duh. I'm done monkeying around. What? Yeah, man. I mean, I didn't do anything risque here. I just found this place and bam! Y'all claimed me to be king. Fairy tales aren't that easy. So, what's your plan, your majesty? Bro! Call me bro! Your bro's gonna get out of here. Okay. So where are you going, your... Uh, I mean, um, bro? Dunno, man, but I'm taking a raft out of this place. The monkeys gathered. They packed food and supplies for their monkey king. We don't want you to go, but your well-being matters to us. Don't worry, you'll know when I come, because I'm going to be so huge that there's going to be an announcement in the universe. Long live the king. Bye. Monkey traveled far away. He crossed places through the river, climbed up the hill, and suddenly he came across a monastery. A monastery? I've heard that a sage lives here. He went towards the monastery, and before he even knocked, a student opened. Come in. Somebody told me about you. Huh? Me? How do you know? Come in. This better not be a trap. The monkey was escorted inside, and there he saw Subari, the sage. You literally knowing I was going to come was whack. I'm a big fan of yours already, master. Let me be your student and give me your autograph on my back. But you're a monkey. Well, have you ever talked to a monkey who can communicate back to you? The students seated are baffled. How does he talk to master like that? That doesn't make you a worthy student. Hey, I literally traveled 13 years for this moment. I sure am worthy. Did you guys do that? Did you? Hmm. <laughs> What's your name? Um, hmm, uh, where were you born? Oh. Up on the Fruit Flower Mountain, a rock was struck by a magical force, Zzz, and bam! The rock cracked open and swoosh! The greatest monkey was born. Sick entry, right? Oh! 
All right, you can be my student, but you need a name. I knew you'd come around. You can call me Ooh Ooh. Your name is Sun Wukong. Aye aye, such a sassy name. Love that. Sun Wukong spent seven years learning from Subati. He then taught Wukong secret formulas as he was a worthy student. Wukong practiced these formulas and meditated in the night while other students slept. Soon, he became so powerful that he changed shape, size, and could fly. One day, Wukong showed his fellow students what he could do. He turned himself into a pine tree. The students cheered. While doing so, Sobati saw it. He was furious. The other students left, whilst Sun Wukong stayed. I taught you these formulas because you wanted to rule the world and you seemed worthy. I know I am special. <laughs> Not to show it off to them. They will now ask you these secrets, and if you don't tell them, they will attack you. Uh, oh, you must leave from here. No, I am yet to show my gratitude to you. You taught me so well. I don't expect anything. You may leave. I foresee you doing evil things as well. Don't let anyone know about your teacher. Thanks to you, I'm now a distinguished man. Bye. Sun Wukong left from the monastery. He hopped on a cloud and traveled back home. My fellow monkeys, your prodigal king is back. Oh, your majesty. Where are the others? The demon, he displaced us and kidnapped some of the monkeys. What? Just wait here. Sun Wukong went to the demon, defeated him victoriously, returned with all the monkeys kidnapped. He further trained them. Now y'all are invincible, like moi. But I need a better weapon. I know the Dragon King under the Eastern Sea has some. Sun Wukong immediately left to meet the Dragon King underwater. Hi, I'm the Invincible King from the Fruit Flower Mountain. I need a strong weapon as good as me. Oh, hi. Um, sure, guards. Please get the heaviest sword we have. The guards brought the heaviest sword. There were 10 guards and they still struggled to lift it. But Sun Wukong effortlessly took it from them saying, This is just a toy. Bring me something better. The Dragon King asked the guards to get a couple of other swords that could suit him. However, none of them worked out. This isn't working either. I told you, I need something like me, the strongest in the world. Oh. Just give him the iron bar. I am done with him. But that's very precious to us. I don't care. I want him out of the palace. Okay, we may have something for you. Yeah, yeah, don't make me lose hopes. The Dragon King took Sun Wukong to the treasure place, where an enormous iron bar stood. You can take it if you can lift... Huh? And before she even completed her sentence, Sun Wukong struck the iron bar and held it in his hand. Should have shown me this earlier, right? Could have saved time. Thank you. The Dragon King and Queen were astounded. Sun Wukong left soon after. What an arrogant monkey. I'm going to tell the Jade Emperor about him. When Sun Wukong came back, he saw a silhouette of someone walking around. Trespasser! Sun Wukong took his iron bar and quickly went towards him. They got into a fight, and Sun Wukong successfully defeated him. You don't charge at anyone like that, Sun Wukong. Then what are you doing in my territory? And how do you know my name? I am from the Sky Palace, silly. I came here to take a casual stroll. Oh? But since you're so violent, I am getting you arrested. Trouble! Run! Sun Wukong ran as fast as he could, while the noble... The demon! Narrator! Um, the demon chased him. He went through the town, jumped around people's roofs, destroying everything. Stop right there. I am too cute to go to jail. Get here right away. The chase became the talk of the town, 
as well as the Sky Palace. Everyone knew what was going on. What do we do of this merciless monkey? Maybe the noble will catch him. Meanwhile, the noble and Sun Wukong took a break. Man, give me a break. Let's drink some water at least. Hydration. It's very important to stay hydrated. The noble and San Wukong sat. Ha! The sky is so beautiful today. The stars are glimmering. Ha! The view is better from my home. Look at that shooting star. Make a wish. Shooting star? Where? Quiet. I'm making a wish. You make a wish quick too. As the noble closed his eyes and wished, Sun Wukong quietly changed into an ant and walked off without the noble's notice. The noble looked to his side, and he was shocked that Sun Wukong vanished into thin air. Hee <laughs> hee! He's never gonna find me! Sun Wukong went back home and snuggled himself in his bed. <sighs> what a tiring day! But no one comes on Sun Wukong's way. And that's how Sun Wukong escaped the nobles and continued to live in the Fruit Flower Mountain. Did he get into trouble again? Not yet. But he sure is fixed in his journey to be the ruler of the world. <laughs>